Look, he's like, you having a baby? I'm going to go make myself some food. <laughs> you so rude, Rodrigo. Go be with your future fiance instead of heating up a hot pocket in a microwave. You want some petty ass bullshit. That's what you want. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelady here and welcome back to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Rags to Riches. So last part was kind of crazy <laughs> and we had like story time and everything. And I told you guys about that whole story. Yeah, that was interesting. There were a few parts of that story that I did leave out that I think I want to leave out, but I was actually like thinking of the whole thing like 10 minutes ago. And I was like, you know what, Matt? You left a lot out of that story that you could have said. And I was like, you know what? But if I would have added those details and it would have just made it sound even worse. So I'm glad that, you know, the story that I told in the last part, if you didn't watch the last part, go watch the last part. But I'm glad that I left those little details out of that story because it would have just made it so gross, like so much more gross than it already was. Anyways, we're picking up exactly where we left off in the last part. And why is my game really quiet for some reason? I don't know if my game's working correctly. It's just really like really, 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 really quiet. Um, I believe everyone was just kind of sleeping. What is dad doing? Okay, he actually has to use the restroom. So we're gonna have him go ahead and run and pee really, really, really quickly. I know his bladder, I thought he just went pee last night. I don't know why his bladder drained that quickly. Like, sir, you are not pregnant. Your bladder should not be draining that quickly. You can jump back into bed and just sleep for a few more hours since it is 5 a.m. The sun hasn't even come up yet. Oh God, here comes the weather. This is exactly what I did not want. So it is day five of seven of spring and you guys know in the springtime, it's always raining. Like it's always raining in my games during the springtime. At least, you know, in Brentleton Bay and in Willow Creek, it rains a lot in the spring. And that's one reason why I really don't like spring that much in, you know, in The Sims 4, because I feel like it rains way too much. It kind of rains more than it, you know, does in the springtime in The Sims 3. And I thought that was a bit excessive. So I'm excited for summertime because I want sunny days, hot days, but things are looking up. Let's take a look at the holidays. What's coming up here? So Friday is actually Valentine's Day and Penelope and Rodrigo are kind of on a rough patch right now. Yeah, uh, two parts ago, I had him propose to her and she actually rejected it. I don't know why she rejected it. Maybe she was just in a bad mood that day, but I'm gonna try to have that done again because I wanna have them get married soon. You guys keep asking me, Matt, when are they gonna get married? I know, they're supposed to get married soon. It's been way too long. I seriously feel like they've been engaged for like ever. So we're gonna try to get that done and then have them get married because look what's going on with the house guys we're running out of room we have a new baby on the way penelope's probably going to bust literally any second and when i say bust i mean her belly's busting not bust the nut that's a different kind of bust we're not going to talk about that <laughs> and, you know in today's video that is <laughs> that's something to save for another day that's a whole nother conversation Pornhub has left the chat <laughs> That is all I'm gonna say. Anyways, Nicholas is done with homework. He's doing good. He's not really fully rested, but he can't sleep because of that stupid monster thing. So we'll just have him lay down and take a nap in his bed since that's really all he can do. He has school in an hour anyway. So I guess, you know, having him sleep as much as he can will really benefit him before his long school day. Fill up the food bowl. You guys were yelling at me in the last part. I already filled up the food bowl. A lot of you don't realize you can fill the food bowl once per day. That is enough for one pet. The cat literally eats all of the food in one sitting. That doesn't mean that he's hungry when the food's gone. He's been, you know, he's eaten for the day. His tummy's full. He just eats the whole thing at once. It's not like The Sims 3 where they kind of nibble at it here and there. Then when the bowl's empty, it means they're hungry. It's different in The Sims 4. For those of you that don't know, We'll open up the fridge and just have Rodrigo grab something out to eat because I want him to really work on videos today. That is what I want his focus to be. And oh my God, a lot of you guys were telling me because I brought up the idea of starting the 100 baby challenge and I will be doing the 100 baby challenge. I just don't know when I want to start it. I've kind of been um, procrastinating because I want to you know, execute it perfectly. I want everything to be perfect. I want the sim that I choose to start the challenge be a sim that I'm like in love with. But for now, I figured, you know what? Let's just continue Rags to Riches and see how this goes but my goal is to start 100 baby challenge sometime this month in february so that's my goal guys i already have one sim created and i might use her for the 100 baby challenge but i just don't know yet i think what i'm going to do is just create a bunch of different sims and then afterwards you know kind of pick which one i like the most you were supposed to be at school like an hour ago what the heck you overslept and now you're gonna be late to school at least his homework's complete he's not gonna have too bad of a day study hard at school school here nicholas is off to school 
awesome what's dad doing he wants to go play with the cat no what you can do is you can come and make some videos let's study the trends see what is popping on youtube or sims tube today i guess you should <laughs> i guess you could say and then we'll just go based off of the trends all right so the following are now trending logic travel energize vlog and flirty vlog well guess what he's feeling flirty so this is perfect we're gonna use this as an opportunity to do a love advice vlog Whoa. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know Penelope is a celebrity and she exists in your life. She's sleeping in your bed and you are not engaged to her because she rejected you. But <laughs> you guys are in love. In love, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> you know, since she rejected him, maybe they're not. Oof. Who cares? Becoming the best painter ever, 125 simoleons. Hey Brothers palette earned 140. Confidence 101, 156. Silly Silly 59. And my cat hates dishwashers. Not clickbait. 81 simoleons. His videos have been flopping, guys, but at least he's earning something. Mom is up this morning and resume your large class of painting, please, because this thing is almost done. And it said that her spotlight is fading. Yeah, it is fading. It's going down. Get your fucking ass inside. Yes, miss work. I don't give a shit. I am not having your spotlight fade over a fucking $50 paycheck at the painting depot. I don't give a shit. Today, the principal is visiting Nicholas's class. Everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. And unfortunately, the kid sitting behind him has decided to pelt him with something. We've already had this question. Tell the kid to stop. We already know what the answer is going to be. Yeah, it's the same response as last time. I swear, the Sims needs to change it up. They have the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. I swear they don't ever have any new pop-ups. If they if they come out with a new expansion pack soon, one thing they should really focus on is coming up with some new pop-ups because I'm tired of getting the same five over and over again. Come on, EA, I know you got this. I know you got this. The pop-ups are cute, they're interactive, I'll give you that, but they're repetitive. It's the same ones every day in every LP of every part of the LP. <laughs> we need something new. All right, he's almost done. I'm really hoping his mood doesn't drop so that this video is actually a success. Ah, oh, it actually worked. Yay! Flirty vlog, we're gonna call this. Stop putting it in caps, Matt. How to fall in love. <laughs> we're not gonna do clickbait. This video shows you how to fall in love. I don't know. <laughs> Just something random. Something extremely random. All right, go ahead and edit the video now that you are done that. Did you finish the painting? Nope, she's still not done. That was just the cat coming inside of the house. I should have known. She's hungry, but I really want her to focus on these paintings because I didn't want her stupid spotlight to fade. Oh, it makes me so upset. I know she did have work today and I feel kind of bad about having her, you know, leave that early. Oh, it's a masterpiece. Yes. Guys, she's getting close to two stars. We might actually be able to do it now. Do a large confident painting. We're finally making up for what we lost in the last part. Cause I know last part we didn't really paint too much. We kind of took a break and that did hurt her a little bit. But today is the day we're gonna have her hit two stars. I'm promising you that right now. We've been trying to hit that for a while. <laughs> did you guys hear that? <laughs> I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird too. I'm really sick at the moment. It seems like I've caught some type of cold. Even though I don't really leave the house too much, I caught a cold somehow and it's been destroying me. Like my throat hurts, my nose has been runny, my lymph nodes or whatever they're called are swollen. Like it hurts, everything hurts right now. But I still wanted to film for you guys and get a video up. I'm gonna be filming while I'm sick. And I used to do that so much. When I was sick when I was younger, I used to film so much that I actually made my illness worse. You no, know, I told myself just one video today, Matt. That's all you're doing, just one video. And then I get to lay down and relax. So the video has been edited. We're gonna add some transitions to it. This part shouldn't take too long and her painting should be just about done any second. Oh wow, he reached media production level three. Getting likes ain't easy, but Rodrigo makes it look like it is. He can now add effects and combine videos on the video station. So how exactly do you combine videos? What do you do? Do you just do multiple videos and then add them together? How does that change anything then? Kind of confused about that. Sell the collector, it's not a masterpiece, but I swear to God, we are so close to two stars, but it just does not want to do it. Do another confident painting since you're still feeling confident. 
All right, widescreen transitions made a video that much more professional transitions have been successfully added. Yay, awesome. Now we can add effects. All oh, our quality of videos is really starting to get better. Yes, except here's the thing. Adding more layers to your video requires more time. So I'm hoping that as a return for this extra effort into his content, he earns more money. Hoping, hoping, hoping because we don't have time to be sitting around for eight hours working on one video if it is if it's only going to give us 30 simoleons that's not really going to work out very well so hopefully it ends up you know giving us some type of return investment grades are up nicholas has been working hard and he is now a grade a student oh wow that is awesome i gotta check with the rules because i know that the rules said like once your kid goes on honor roll or something and has like one skill to level 10 or something like that or one skill maxed out then you can have them age up and he's getting really close to that level so he might actually be able to age up very soon take a brisk shower because he's feeling dirty and slimy his fun is also low so when he's done of course he can sit down and watch a movie what movie should we have him watch and watch adventures of spaceship simulation that's after you shower, of course, and don't take no two minutes out. I can't speak and don't take a two minute shower and then get out 10 seconds into it because you want to do the other things in your queue. The whole point of the queue is so that you can, you know, fully complete the shower. And then after you're done, get out and watch TV. That's why I have you do the queue, sir. That's why I have you do it. Did you even finish this? Apparently this is done. This does not look done. This looks like some stick figure mess, doesn't it? It really does. All right, you know what? We're gonna have her do a large class of painting because these confident paintings are not giving her money and it's not really seeming to get her uh, fame level up to where I really want it to be. Rodrigo is currently dancing, getting himself in the mood. Did you even upload that video? I think he finished it though. Okay, effects have been added, transitions have been added, and now he can upload the video for fame. Please let this one do good. I'm praying that this one does good. There's a skill bar that's over his head that looks like it's almost full. I don't know what the heck that is. The most recent video that Rodrigo recorded is Catching Waves and it has been nominated for an award. Check out the next award ceremony Sunday 7 p.m. to see if he one. How is he nominated for an award for a YouTube video? That don't make no sense. The video has been uploaded. Expect daily royalty payments. Oh, that's good. So if it's nominated for award, it probably means that it's doing very, very well. And you know, we're going to use this opportunity to record another video. I wanted to do another uh, flirty video, but it doesn't look like that's going to do anything. Anyways, let's reply to some comments. We will hype next video and then promote old videos. And we'll just do that for a little bit. His fame is really like really, really, really low. It's probably going to take him a while to get that up. But I think we're just going to sit here and do these things uh, for the next couple of hours. Um, I don't want him to do any other videos. I just kind of want to have him work on polishing his channel, you know, hyping the next video, promoting all of his old videos. So we're just gonna queue that up basically for the rest of the night, just have him sit here and work on that. And look at that, Rodrigo has gained 175 followers. He now has 325. So this is a good way to really gain followers is to have him do these things. And now look, he don't wanna do it anymore. Why? Why is it doing this? Look, he's giving a question mark for all of it. I really hope that this doesn't mean he can't sit in the chair because he was literally just in the chair. There should be no excuse. Oh God, I feel a sneeze coming. <laughs> okay, I'm back. That wasn't very long at all. Why are you embarrassed? Did you piss yourself? She's hiding from everyone because she pissed herself. She's feeling very, very, very embarrassed. Give yourself a pep talk in the mirror. You didn't even start your painting. Girl, you painted for like two seconds. What What even was that? Okay, you can get up. I know you're tired. You didn't get too much sleep last night, but you got homework to do, buddy boy. Sit down in your chair so you can do it at your yeah. desk. What? Yes, yeehaw. It sounded like he said, yeehaw, motherfucker. Yeehaw. <laughs> I also noticed that I haven't been bleeping out my videos. I haven't been censoring it at all. And I hope you guys are okay with that. Censoring has added this whole like extra step for me and it's just made getting videos up harder. So I figured I'd rather just, you know, be myself and swear and not edit it out so that I can get the videos up faster than to censor everything out. And then it take longer for me to get the videos up. I definitely don't want that. Cause you know, at the end of the day, most of you guys are adults. And most of you, if you're not adults, don't even care anyway. So it doesn't matter because I ran a poll and I think like 95% of the people that voted said they don't care if I curse my videos. And then like 5% said that they did. And I was like, wow, that is that is a large chunk. That really is. Mop up this puddle 
and then you can use the restroom. Mom is up from her little nap. Get outside and continue your painting. She's so close to two stars. I feel like we just can't get it there. Also, one of you said to uh, increase the reputation, we can donate to charity or something. How do I do that? Where do I go for that? To donate to charities or something? Do I have to click on a computer? But this isn't even a computer. This is just like a video creation station. So I don't know what we have to do. Do I do it on my phone? Maybe I can do it on my phone. Add this Instagram story, check out social media timeline, ask on date, Vol oh, volunteer. Okay, okay, you have to send them out to volunteer and it improves their um, their reputation, I think. Okay, we might have her do some volunteer work then, so she, since she's really gonna be working on her fame levels. Actually, you know what, we'll have him do it because this is gonna help him get his fame up too. He actually can't do what she can. She has the ability to add this Instagram story. Wait, maybe he can, let's look, let's look. Okay, he can. Look, we're gonna have him add to Instagram story to increase his fame. I know that we shouldn't do it too much because if you do it too much, then your number can get leaked like we've seen happen earlier in the Let's Play and that was not good at all. Some really interesting things happened when we did that. So we're gonna try to stay away from that. Beautiful image, it's perfect. He has gained 12 followers and has 337 in total. Also, I'm really thirsty. So I brought myself a giant bottle of cranberry cocktail. Wait, this doesn't have alcohol in it, does it? I hope not. But I'm thirsty, so I'm taking a swig. And I brought this out here because of my throat. <clears> throat> it's like that stuff you drink at church. This is bitter. Oh, it's expired. Never mind. I don't want this anymore. Also, another thing. I can't believe I forgot to say this. My hair is a different color. I got it cut and I bleached it. I know I look so different. I don't know how I didn't mention that at the beginning of the video. I totally forgot. Sorry about that. All right, mom, please finish painting. Oh my God, she is so big. She is going to have this baby literally any second. I would not be surprised if she literally went into labor, like literally by tonight, like midnight tonight like ASAP Rocky ASAP. Congratulations, Penelope did another masterpiece. All right, this one hopefully is what puts her to two stars. I said that last time and it ended up not doing it. Are you serious? Her fame needs to go up. What is going on? All right, another large classic painting, Penelope. Keep at it, just keep at it. She's doing so good. I'm seriously so happy for her. I just freaking wish that she could actually like Get that two stars up. We had this issue two parts ago. She was literally a hair away and we had her make masterpiece after masterpiece and nothing was triggering that second star. I don't know what the heck the deal was, but you know what? We're fighting for this. We are fighting for this. We are gonna fight like hell. All right, flirty vlog, energized vlog, travel and logic. We can record a video. We're feeling flirty. So why can't we do a flirty vlog? I don't get it. Energized vlog, travel and logic. What do we do for logic? How do we do logic? I do not know what that is. All right, you know what? Come inside and take a brisk shower. Get yourself feeling energized so that we can make one of those pumped up vlogs because I know that we're definitely gonna need that. Did you ever finish your homework? Oh, he did finish his homework. Now he can do his extra credit work. Boy, you are an A student. You know what? We're gonna keep this as good as we can get it. Now that he's an A student, guys, when he goes to school, we're gonna have him focus on making friends and then he'll be able to actually bring a few people home. Maybe he'll bring a girlfriend home. Maybe he'll bring a boyfriend home. I always ask this in all of my Let's Plays. If you guys want him to be gay, let me know. It's not letting him do anything on the computer thingy. The flirty vlog isn't an option for some reason. If you guys know why, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Warm sunrise. Oh my gosh. Cool and cloudy. That's awesome. We can even upgrade this stuff. Oh, that's another thing that I wanted to do is get his handiness skill up so that he can start upgrading. We might have to um, order books, but we need like an actual computer to do so. We don't really have that. All right, you can add to your Instagram story. We'll have you wake up and add to yours. Watch this be the thing that sets us into two stars. I will literally laugh out loud if this is what sets us into two stars. A freaking Instagram story update. I will literally laugh. After all those paintings and all those tries, did it, it didn't even get us there. What kind of shit is that? Go pee, Penelope. Pee like a champion since you're feeling so confident. Then you can come outside and sell this to Collector for some fame. Please let this one be it. Let this one be it, girl. Please. Yes, yes, we did it. Rising star. Penelope has become recognized as a rising star. She's earned two more fame points that she can use to purchase fame perks. In addition, she can now sign her autograph or choose a pose for pictures for other Sims. 
A great venue for such activities is a celebrity meet and greet event, which she can now host by selecting plan a social event via phone. Oh, cool. So we can now have our own little meet and greet events. Guys, we have a moodlet rising star from increasing fame. Penelope has become recognized as a rising star. So now people should really start approaching her and the paparazzi are going to be flocking. I did hear that it is really, really hard to get to five stars. So we are definitely gonna have to work hard for that because this is her career now, guys. I really want her to focus on developing that career. So you know what? We're gonna do that. We are gonna focus on developing her career now. I think maybe it's a good place for her to quit her job. Do you think we should quit her job or do you think we should keep the job? What do you guys think? Put your comments down below. If you want her to keep the job, we can kind of balance, you know, between the two. If you want her to really focus on her career fully, then we can quit the job and then just, you know, continue the painting and stuff. We might even do that. I also want to send her off to volunteer because now that her fame is going up, her reputation's on the line and she is going to, what's a book celebrity cleanse? A cleanse will wipe away Penelope's current fame perks and refund all of her fame points. She can then select a new set of fame perks. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Okay, Penelope, you're gonna go volunteer. Volunteer walk to fight disease, volunteer at soup kitchen, volunteer at nursing home, volunteer at beach cleanup. Bake sale, definitely fight disease. Do that one first. That's gonna really help improve your image. Can she even do anything? Is she going now? When do we go? Do we schedule it? Or she just, does it just instantly help her fame or her, her reputation? I don't know what we have to do. Did it work guys? Okay, she has to leave for it. So she's gonna disappear off the lot. This is gonna take a little bit of time, which I'm okay with because I really want her reputation to get fixed. It's slightly negative, but I really want her to build something positive with her audience. Rodrigo is asleep. He should be done his extra. You didn't even do your extra credit, did you? Nope, he didn't even do his extra credit. Clean up the food, just clean up all of it. We have a dishwasher now, so we really shouldn't need anything special. Fill the cat bowl. It's nighttime. He hasn't eaten since this morning, so maybe he can fit a few more bites of food in his tummy for the night and we'll have him pee and I think head to sleep because it's Thursday night he does have school tomorrow and uh you should totally have dad spray the monster under the bed so dad can wake up he can spray the monster under the bed just to make sure that um you know there's no issues oh I knew it Penelope's in labor guys the baby is coming and you know what this means I'm gonna save all that for the next part all right Rodrigo, you can head to sleep now that that has been tended. He's still cleaning up the plates. I know it's taking forever. God, he's really got to pee. He's going to piss himself. He is going to piss himself. Feed the cat bowl. Yep, feed the cat. Go pee. <laughs> Please don't pee yourself, buddy boy. Please don't do it. Oh my God, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. Get to sleep. All right, Penelope is going to be home any second now. She is bursting at the seams. I swear to God, if she has, you know what would be funny? If she ended up having her baby. Ah, I knew it. It is helping her, her reputation. It's just going to take a minute. What, what would be funny is if she, um, <laughs> it's if she had the baby while she was walking for disease. She was out doing her 5K run. There was cameras everywhere filming her for the television show. And then she just sits on the sidewalk like, I need someone to help deliver this baby. <laughs> That would be terrible. Volunteering is fun and builds character. It feels good to do things for others. She's gone into labor. Oh, God. All right, we're going to clear notifications. And look, her reputation's negative, but it's definitely a lot better than it was. And she's going to be heading to the hospital to have her baby at two o'clock in the morning. Flaunt your wealth, girl. She can flaunt her wealth. No, we won't do that. We won't do that just yet. She ain't that rich. She's not that rich. All right, have baby at the hospital and we're gonna join her. Rodrigo can come um, and Jill can come. And I know we gotta build our relationship back with Sia again. She was one of our closer friends. Look, it's Jake. <laughs> He's out of our life forever, guys. There might be some drama in the future though. There might be something stirring up, but I don't know. All right, guys, I think this is a good place to end things off now that we're at the hospital and she's gonna be having her baby. I swear to God, if she has twins, I'm gonna be so freaking upset because i don't know if i'm ready to be taking care of all those babies oh my gosh all right come in here and check in at the front desk where you going damn she bypassed the front desk all right all right sis she's going right to the bed she said i'm ready to have my baby all right guys i'm ending it here i love you all so much thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites subscribe to become a pixelator today look he's like you having a baby i'm gonna go make myself some food <laughs>
can't be so rude, Rodrigo. Go be with your future fiance instead of heating up a hot pocket in a microwave. You want some petty ass bullshit. That's what you want. All right, guys, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Google Plus, Twitch, and more. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.